high Brent tech here, where tech is made simple. So the closer we get to next year, 2024, um, it seems that there are more reports now that are suggesting as we move closer to next year that Microsoft is expected to release a new version of Windows uh, in the second half of next year. And as I have posted previously, and according to numerous reports, that could possibly be Windows 12, although Microsoft hasn't confirmed any of those reports that they will officially be rolling out a Windows 12 in the second half of 2024. And if you want more info regarding Windows 12, um, I have posted some videos previously, so just do a search on the channel. Now, what we do know, and what has been confirmed by Microsoft, is that Windows 10, will be ending support uh, in October of 2025. So when it comes to Windows 12, um, it does kind of make sense that Microsoft could release a new Windows version, Windows 12, uh, in late 2024, which gives basically a year um, for Windows 10 devices to upgrade to Windows 12, because obviously Microsoft would want the majority of devices then to upgrade to the next operating system being Windows 12. Now, um, in regards to system requirements, uh, the good folks over at DeskModder have received some info about some of Windows 12's possible system requirements. And um, as mentioned, none of this has been confirmed by Microsoft, but just a report at DeskModder, which I thought I'd just share for you today in this video, just to do a quick summary, um, if you are following a possible rollout of Windows 12, um, sometime next year in 2024. Now, as I have posted previously, um, when it comes to uh, the processor requirements, um, one of the um, earlier suggestions for a Windows 12 operating system would be that Microsoft would make its Microsoft Pluton security processor one of the system requirements. And just to do a quick recap on that, uh, the Microsoft Pluton is a new secure processor with enhanced security that holds and houses important and sensitive data inside the actual CPU chip itself. And I did post a whole video on what is the Microsoft Pluton security processor. And I'll leave a link to that down below, which will give you more info. Now, when it comes to the Pluton security processor, according to DeskModder, it seems that Microsoft will not make um, the security chip um, uh, the security Pluton processor, a requirement for Windows 12, which does make a lot of sense because it's just too early and too soon for Microsoft to start pushing um, in give or take a year and a half um, from present day to the second half of 2024 to start pushing its Pluton processor as a security requirement because and that also means then that a lot of so-called Windows 10 devices and even Windows 11 devices, including my own device, will not be able to upgrade to Windows 12, which I don't think Microsoft would want to do because obviously they would want the majority of devices to upgrade, as I mentioned earlier. Now, um, when it comes to uh, the information received by Desk Modder, um, it seems that Microsoft is going to keep the current TPM Trusted Platform Module 2 system requirements. Um, that are currently uh, in place for Windows 11 and that the RAM and um, the random access memory requirements could increase to 8 gigabytes from 4 gigabytes. Now, um, as many of you do know, um, when it comes to system requirements for Windows 11, um, already those system requirements are quite steep, especially for older devices upgrading from Windows 8 and earlier versions of Windows 10. So it makes no sense that Microsoft would drastically increase the system requirements for Windows 12. So just to sum up the system requirements, um, a possible uh, set of system requirements for Windows 12, uh, according to DeskModder, is that um, the uh, central processing unit requirements will stay exactly the same as they currently are for Windows 11. Um, as mentioned, the RAM may be increased from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes and um, the Pluton security processor as mentioned earlier would be an optional um, system requirement so that's not going to affect the actual default system requirements. Uh, TPM would remain the same as it currently is for Windows 11 being the trusted platform module 2 and then when it comes to storage um, on your device I don't think much will change there and as many of you know the actual uh, system required for Windows 11 currently is 64 gigabytes, but I don't think that will be a big drastic change for Windows 12. So if the only real thing that's changing uh, is the RAM moving up from 4 to 8 gigabytes, it does mean though then that the majority of Windows 10 and also Windows 11 devices 
will be compatible to upgrade to Windows 12. So I thought this was interesting information and just wanted to share it with you today. But as mentioned previously, Microsoft hasn't confirmed any of this. But um, as I do get more info, and if anything does change in this regard, I will post and let you know. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.